Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're looking at a Toyota Sequoia Capstone Hybrid in the color white. Let's take a look. So up front underneath the hood we have the gas component of the hybrid engine system. It is the iForce Max twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 engine. Automatic transmission gets up to 437 horsepower, 583 pound foot of torque towing capacity up to 9,010 pounds and payload up to 1,411. Up front, you have LED headlights, customary daytime running lights, and your fog lights down below. Across your front bumper, you'll find these little round nodules. These are your front parking sensors. And on your grille here, we have the blue Toyota logo indicating the hybrid status. Underneath it is your front facing camera. As we move along to the side here, we have your 22 inch alloy wheels. Side mirrors have integrated turn signals, blind spot monitoring, and cameras on the bottom contributing to the surround view camera effect. While we're looking this way, you'll also find the iForce Max badges on either side of your hood. On your front doors, you have the capstone trim level badge. As you move back, all of your rear windows come with factory tinting. Up top, you have silver roof rails. As we approach the back here, across your rear bumper, again, backup parking sensors. You'll find your spare tire mounted on the bottom here. You'll also see that there is a kick sensor option. Across the back, you have that Sequoia badge in silver. Then in the back here, we have this little button right next to your Toyota logo. If you give that a press, you'll find your rear windshield will pop right up. You can lift it open. It gives you access to all of your goods inside or just gives you a little bit of extra airflow. When you bring it down, make sure it goes all the way back into its spot doesn't pop back up. Then next, we'll look underneath of the logo. You'll find your backup cameras here. And then to open up your hatch, press the button next to the camera and it will pop right open. If you're having issues with your lift gate opening automatically, it's probably because that rear windshield is still open itself. So in the back here, of course, we have both second and third row seating. Second row seats are the captain style, which means that they are fully detached from one another. We'll talk about those more when we get up front. Third row seating is a 60-40 split bench seat. As you can see, split is on the left-hand side, which means the left seat is smaller than the right-hand seat. Either way, all of these seats can be laid down flat to extend your cargo space forward into your cab or left up for your rear passengers. For your third row seats, to do this, we have the electronic buttons that you can press. Simply press and hold these to raise or lower your seats. Buttons are also accessible from the third row area so that you can do it if you're standing at your second row doors. In the back here, we have accessories for your unit, including your factory packaged carpeted Sequoia mats. And then we also have your hitch or your trailer hitch itself, which will of course fit into the receiver and some other goodies. On the right hand side, you'll find an additional power outlet. And then in the back here, we have these different levels of tiers for your interior cargo shelf unit. This is easily removable and slides into the different places depending on what your needs have. You can also lay it down completely flat in the back. Up top here, you'll also find your rubber mat lining. It is on the back of this cargo shelf space as well as on the back of your third row seats. This is much easier to remove and clean versus that carpeted interior lining in the back of most units. It also helps to protect your vehicle from damages from your cargo and protect your cargo from damages from your vehicle. Then to close up your unit here, as we said, there is a kick sensor option. You can also use the handle or press one of the two electronic buttons. On the right, it will close and lock. On the left, it will simply close. Next, let's take a look at the inside. Inside here, your interior upholstery is the dual tone leatherette of the cream and black colors, and you have some white stitching for contrast and texturing on your seats. Everybody in your second and first rows have a great view of the panoramic moonroof overhead. For your second row passengers, they do have the interior folding down armrests for either side here which gives them some additional support. Down below, they have cup holders as well as storage space. Back of your front passenger and front driver's seats, we have pouch storage available. Back of your console is where you have your cup holders. And then underneath that, we have air vents, which is connected to the third zone of the air conditioning control. 
This is able to function completely separate from your two zones up front, but it can be controlled from up there as well. Your second row passengers have also got access to three variant levels of both heated and cooled seats for all climate capacities. Down below, you have all of your charger options. And we currently have the Sequoia branded rubber mats throughout the unit. In your door here, we see some more of the dual tone leatherette. We have our first peek at the wood grain trim we'll see more of up front, as well as the silver highlights. You also have some of this ambient blue lighting. Of course, this is much more prominent at nighttime. Then you also have your built-in sunshades. These easily unfold and go all the way upwards, locking into place, helping to keep the sun out of everybody's eyes without impeding their view. Just as easily, this unhooks and goes all the way back down to be completely flush with your door frame. Plenty of storage here and one of your JBL speakers. We also see that we have your power retractable running boards that have popped down. When you close the door, if you wait a couple of moments, these will fold away. And then all the same when you open it up, they'll fold outwards. On your front handles on either side, you'll find this little dimple on the outside corner. This indicates keyless entry. So if you have the key fob on your person, simply tap your hand here to lock and unlock. Inside here, more ambient lighting, dual tone leatherette, wood grain trim and silver highlights, power windows for front and back, window lock, power lock system, and your side mirror controls. On the left here, this allows you to fold your side mirrors in flat with the body of your unit. This can be done automatically with locking and unlocking, or you can press the controls manually to adjust it to your preferences. Underneath that, you have your memory seat controls, which of course means electronic seat adjustment. Back front, up, down, lumbar support. Up front, you have the controls for your under knee support. You got your hood release latch on the bottom left-hand side of your dash. Above that, you have controls for your rear tailgate light, the automatic headlamps, gas release, your odometer or dash brightness, odometer trip, rear parking sensors, AC 120 volt, heated leather steering wheel, and then this is a control for those retractable running boards, which you can have set automatically to open and close with the doors, turn them all the way off so that they never come out or all the way on so that they're always out. Then your steering column is also power tilt and telescopic adjustable. Hop up here and take a look at the steering wheel. First off, black leather with more white stitching like the seats. Left hand side here, controls for your dash display, hands-free communication, volume control. Right hand side, radio controls on the bottom, adaptive cruise control up top. This includes sonar and lane departure. Now, if you look upwards, you'll find this little black box built into your dash space. And then if you look upward, right about here, you'll find a compass and your odometer. This is your heads up display. It's built into display your kilometers, your direction, and a couple of other important information nuggets. That way you never have to take your eyes off the road to keep an eye on your info. To the right of this, you have built in storage with a 12 volt adapter on the left. And underneath is where you have your infotainment display screen. This is where you access much of the information about your daily driving experience. You've got all of your general notification display sound media, dealer info, your security and general apps. Then above that, you have your trip info, phone connectivity and audio listening. Audio includes AM, FM and satellite radio. Full Bluetooth connectivity includes Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And you have an optional USB adapter located on the bottom right here. Underneath this, you have your volume control on the left, as you saw just a second ago, and then the rest of this is all climate control. As we said, you do have the option to control your rear spaces, or they can control it independently. Other than that, up front, you have the dual tone for the driver and passenger sides. That way, all three zones are able to have their own unique temperature settings, or you can choose to sync them up to have them all work together in unison. Underneath that, defrost for front and rear windshield, as well as your side mirrors. Then on either sides, we have three variant levels for both heated and cooled seats. Red for hot, blue for cold. On the left of this is where you have your push start ignition and your trailer brakes there, as well as right here. Then you have your surround view camera. If you press that, your infotainment will switch to a full view. You can pause this at any point in time to get a closer look. And you can also switch your perspective if you're trying to look at something a little bit closer or further away. To make this go away, just press that button one more time and you're back to your normal infotainment. Next to that, you have your traction control and your four ways. 
In front of your gear shift is your parking brakes. Behind it is your two wheel, four high, and four low. Then you have your dial controls for drive versus tow haul mode. And then tons of storage space throughout the middle with all of that wood grain trim. Starting up front here, this is where you have your wireless charging pad. It has a little glowing green dot and that little symbol. This is compatible with all wireless charging devices, but the nice perk about keeping your phone there is you're still able to see notifications coming in and out without it being in the way, such as being stuck in a cup holder or shoved under your leg. And we have the bumpers on both these sides and on the bottom of that, which means as soon as you're driving, your phone's not going to go flying away on you. Behind that is your pop-up and pop-away cup holders. And then you have your console space. Top part, you have a moving tray. Inside, you'll find your chargers as well as, well as your coin holder slots. And of course, it opens up like a normal console would. On the right-hand side, we have more of that white leather ret. Wood grain trim, you have your capstone display with ambient lighting and a lockable glove box down below. Rear view mirror, one, two, and three dots. Those are your garage door openers. Then as we can see, this is a normal reflective mirror at the moment, but if you flip the switch, it now is utilizing those cameras in the back. This is a really great built-in feature in case you have anything inside your cab, be it people or cargo, that are maybe getting in the way of you seeing all the way out. You can simply circumvent that by switching to the camera view behind. Now you have no concerns about being able to see all of your surroundings. Above that, Sunglasses compartment, SOS button, you have overhead lighting controls, ambient mood controls all the way to the right. You also have the controls for your panoramic moonroof. And on the left is your control for the power release of your trunk space. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour for this Toyota Sequoia Capstone Hybrid in the color white. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.